On behalf of SRG Ministry, I'd like to welcome you today as we pray the Stations of the Cross. If you're joining us as part of our Holy Week retreat, a very special welcome to you today. Today, Father Rob and Brendan Alliston are going to lead us through the 14 Stations of the Cross. Each of these stations is a reminder of what Jesus has done for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. These 14 steps that you are now about to walk, you do not take alone. I, Christ, walk with you. Though you are you and I am I, yet we are truly one, one in Christ. And therefore my way of the cross 2,000 years ago and your way now are also one. But note this difference. My life was incomplete until I crowned it by my death. Your 14 steps will only be complete when you have crowned them by your life. At the cross her station keeping stood the mournful mother weeping close to Jesus to the last. The first station, Jesus is condemned. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. In Pilate's hands, my other self, I see my father's will. Though Pilate is unjust, he has earthly power over me, and so the Son of God obeys. If I can bow to my Father's will, can you also submit even in the face of injustice? I reply, My Jesus, Lord, obedience costs you your life. For me, it cost an act of will, no more. And yet how hard is it for me to bend? Remove the blinders from my eyes, that I may see that it is you alone whom I obey. Lord, it is you. Through her heart his sorrow sharing, all his bitter anguish bearing, now at length the sword has passed. The second station, Jesus takes his cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. The cross, this chunk of tree, is what my father chose for me. The crosses you must bear are largely products of daily life, and yet my father chose them too for you. Receive them from his hands. Take heart, my other self. I will not let your burdens grow, one ounce too heavy for your strength. My Jesus, Lord, I take my daily cross. I welcome the monotony that often marks my day, discomforts of all kinds, the summer's heat, the winter's cold, my disappointments, tensions, setbacks, cares. Remind me often that in carrying my cross, I carry yours with you, and though I bear a sliver only of your cross, you carry all of mine, except a sliver in return. Oh, how sad and so distressed was the mother highly blessed of the soul begotten one. The third station. Jesus falls for the first time. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. The God who made the universe and holds it in existence by his will alone becomes a man, too weak to bear a piece of timber's weight. How human in weakness is the Son of God. My Father willed it thus. I could not be your model otherwise, if you would be mine, my other self, you also must accept without complaint your human frailties. 
Lord Jesus, how can I refuse? I willingly accept my weaknesses, my irritations and my moods, my headaches and fatigue, all my defects of body, mind and soul, because they are your will for me. These handicaps of my humanity, I gladly suffer them. Make me content with all my discontents, but give me strength to struggle after you. Christ above in torment hangs, she beneath beholds the pangs of her dying glorious Son. The fourth station, Jesus meets his mother. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. My mother sees me whipped. She sees me kicked and driven like a beast. She counts my every wound. But though her soul cries out in agony, no protest or complaint escapes her lips or even enters her thoughts. She shares my martyrdom and I share hers. We hide no pain, no sorrow from each other's eyes. This is my Father's will. My Jesus, Lord, I know what you are telling me. To watch the pain of those we love is harder than to bear our own. To carry my cross after you, I too must stand and watch the sufferings of my dear ones, the heartaches, sicknesses and grief of those I love. And I must let them watch mine too. I do believe for those who love you, all things work together unto good. Is there one who would not weep, whelmed in misery so deep, Christ's dear mother to behold? The fifth station, Simon helps Jesus. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. My strength is gone. I can no longer bear the cross alone. And so the legionaries make Simon give me aid. This Simon is like you, my other self. Give me your strength. Each time you lift some burden from another's back, you lift as you, your very hand the cross's awful weight that crushes me. Lord, Make me realize that every time I wipe a dish, pick up an object off the floor, assist a child in some small task, or give another preference in traffic or the store, each time I feed the hungry, clothe the naked, teach the ignorant, or lend my hand in any way, it matters not to whom. My name is Simon, and the kindness I extend to them, I really give to you. Can the human heart refrain from partaking in her pain, in that mother's pain untold? The sixth station, Veronica helps Jesus. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Can you be brave enough, my other self, to wipe my blood, bloody face? Where is my face, you ask? At home, whenever eyes fill up with tears, at work, when tensions rise, on playgrounds and in the slums, the courts and the hospitals, the jails, whenever there, and there I look to you to wipe away my blood and tears. Lord, what you ask is hard. It calls for courage and self-sacrifice. And I am weak. Please give me strength. Do not let me run away because of fear. Lord, live in me and act in me and love in me. And not in me alone, in all of us, so that we may reveal no more your bloody but your glorious face on earth. Bruised, derided, cursed, defiled, she beheld her tender child. 
all with bloody scourges rent. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. This seventh step, my other self, is one that tests your will. From this fall, learn to, per to preserve in doing good. The time will come when all your effort seems to fail and you think, I can't go on. Then turn to me, my heavy laden one, and I will give you rest, trust, and carry on. Give me your courage, Lord, when failure presses heavily on me and I am desolate. Stretch out your hand to lift me up. I know I must not cease, but persevere in doing good. But help me, Lord. Alone, there's nothing I can do. With you, I can do anything you ask. I will. For the sins of his own nation Saw him hang in desolation Till his spirit forth he sent. The Eighth Station Jesus Consoles the Women How often had I longed to take these children of Jerusalem and gather them to me, but they refused. But now these women weep for me, and my heart mourns for them, mourns for their sorrows that will come. I comfort those who seek solace in me. How gentle can you be, my other self, how kind. My Jesus, your compassion in your passion is beyond compare. Lord, teach me, help me learn. When I would snap at those who hurt me with their ridicule, those who misunderstand or hinder me with some unguided helpfulness, those who intrude upon my privacy, then help me curb my tongue. May gentleness become my cloak. Lord, make me kind like you. O oh, thou mother fount of love, touch my spirit from above. Make my heart from thine accord. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. The ninth station. Jesus falls a third time. Completely drained of strength, I lie collapsed upon the cobblestones. My body cannot move. No blows, no kicks can rouse it up. And yet my will is mine, and so is yours. Know this, my other self, your body may be broken, but no force on earth and no, none in hell can take away your will. Your will is yours. My Lord, I see you take a moment's rest, then rise and stagger on. So I can do, because my will is mine. When all my strength is gone and guilt and self-reproach press me to earth and seem to hold me fast, protect me from the sin of Judas. Save me from despair. Lord, never let me feel that any sin of mine is greater than your love. No matter what my past has been, I can begin anew. Make me feel as thou hast felt. Make my soul to glow and melt with the love of Christ my Lord. The tenth station. Jesus is stripped of his clothes. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Behold, my other self, the poorest king who ever lived. Before my creatures I stand stripped. The cross, my deathbed, even this was not, is not my own. Yet, who has ever been so rich? Possessing nothing, I own it all, my Father's love. If you too would own everything, 
Be not salicious about your food, your clothes, or your life. My Lord, I offer you my all, whatever I possess, and more myself. Detach me from the craving for prestige, position, wealth. Root out of me all trace of envy of my neighbor, who has more than I. Release me from the vice of pride, my longing to exalt myself, and lead me to the lowest place. May I be poor in spirit, Lord, so that I can be rich in you. Holy Mother, pierce me through, in my heart each wound renew. Of my Saviour crucified. The eleventh station. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Jesus is crucified. Can you imagine what a crucifixion is? My executioners stretched my arms and they held my hands and wrists against the wood and press the nail until it stabs my flesh. Then, with one heavy hammer smash, they drive it through, and pain bursts like a bomb of fire in my brain. They seize the other arm, and agony again explodes, then rising up my knees so that my feet are flat against the wood. They hammer them fast, too. My God, I look at you and think, is my soul worth this much? What can I give you in return? I, here and now, accept for all my life whatever sickness, torment, agony may come. To every cross I touch my lips. O blessed cross that lets me be with you, a co-redeemer of humanity. Let me share with thee his pain who for all my sins was slain, who for me in torment died. The twelfth station, Jesus dies. The cross becomes a pulpit. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. Forgive them, Father. You will be with me in paradise. There is your mother, there your son. I thirst, it is complete. To speak, I have to raise myself by pressing on my wrists and feet. And every move engulfs me in new waves of agony. And then when I have borne enough, have emptied my humanity. I let my mortal life depart. My Jesus, God, what can I say or do? I offer you my death with all its pains, accepting now the time and kind of death in store for me. Not by a single instant would I lengthen my life span. I offer you my death for my own sins and for those of all humanity. My God, my God, forsake us not. We know not what we do. Let me mingle tears with thee, mourning him who mourned for me all the days that I may live. The thirteenth station, Jesus is taken down from the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. The sacrifice is done. Yes, my mass is complete, but not my mother's and yours and you, my other self. My mother still must cradle in her arms the lifeless body of the son she bore, and you too must part from those you love, and grief will come to you. In your bereavement, think this, a multitude of souls will, were saved by Mary's sharing in my Calvary, and your grief can also be the, pri the price of souls. I beg you, Lord, help me accept the partings that must come, from friends who go away, my children leaving home, 
and most of all my dear ones, when you shall call them to yourself. Then give me grace to say, as it pleased you, Lord, to take them home. I bow to your most holy will, and if, by just one word, I might restore their lives against your will, I would not speak. Grant them eternal joy. By the cross with thee to stay, there with thee to weep and pray, all I ask of thee to give. The fourteenth station, Jesus is buried. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. So ends my mortal life, but now another life begins for Mary, and for Magdalene, and for Peter, and for John, and for you. My life's work is done, my work within and through my church must now commence. I look to you, my other self, day in and day out, from this time forth to be my apostle, my victim, my saint. My Jesus, Lord, you know my spirit is as willing as my flesh is weak. The teaching you could not impart, the sufferings you could not bear, the works of love you could not do in your short time on earth. Let me impart and bear and do through you, but I am nothing, Lord. Help me. Virgin of all virgins blessed, listen to my fond request. Let me share thy grief divine. I told you at the start, my other self, my life was not complete until I crowned it with my death. Your way is not complete unless you crown it with your life. Accept each moment as it comes to you with faith and with trust, and all that happens is a mark on it. A simple fiat, a simple yes, this is all it takes. A breathing in your heart, I will it, Lord. So seek me not in a far off places, because I am close at hand. Your workbench, your office, in your kitchen, on these altars where you offer love, and I am with you there. So now go, take up your cross, and with your life, complete your way. Thank you so much for joining us as we journeyed through the Stations of the Cross. We encourage you to spend some time today just sitting with Jesus at the foot of the cross and just really listening to what he has to say to you. And we encourage you to join us at 3 p.m. AEST today for the commemoration of the Lord's Passion. I am so excited to invite you on behalf of FRG Ministry to our pilgrimage to the Holy Land. In the middle of October, we are going to head to Israel, to the Holy Land, to seek Jesus, the Jesus of history, to walk where he walked, where he talked, where he interacted with people. We're going to have time to pray, time to worship. We're going to have musicians there. We're going to have time to fall in love with Jesus. The spaces are limited and we invite you to register now. We look forward to seeing you and journeying with you in the footsteps of Jesus. Encounter by FRG Ministry presents our online subscription package. As a member, you will receive digital on-demand access to Encounter's growing library of online courses. Encounter and Encounter Youth online courses cover teaching, devotional and practical elements of the Catholic faith to help individuals, teachers, students and parishes across the world grow in their faith and understanding of the Catholic Church and their relationship with Jesus Christ. Current titles include Knowing Mary, School of Prayer, Introduction to the Bible, The Mass and more, with new courses being added regularly. All Encounter courses include high-definition videos with expert and engaging speakers, testimonies from everyday Catholics, 
and downloadable content including interactive PDF guides, prayer cards and wallpapers. These courses are also accredited for professional development for Catholic education staff in Australia. All Encounter Youth courses include teaching videos, interactive student and teacher PDFs with lesson plans and guided prayer and reflection. For more information about enrolment and subscription options, head to www.encountercourses.com slash subscription. Be sure to follow us on social media on Instagram, Facebook and Twitter at Encounter Courses. Encounter Youth by FRG Ministry presents the Kingdom of God. Join Father Obgalia, Brendan Alliston and Clara Ravdanovich in this curriculum-based online course that explores what the Kingdom of God is and how we are called to bring about this Kingdom today by following the example of Jesus. Filled with an engaging visual narrative, high-definition teaching videos and interactive teacher and student PDFs complete with lesson plans, class activities and more, this course is an invaluable addition to your classroom or youth group. Get access to this course and our entire Encounter Courses library at encountercourses.com forward slash subscription.